Hey everyone, I decided today I want to make me some slinky weights for uh, fishing, get all stocked up on them. Basically what it is is um, old spare cut off ends of paracord with BBs in them and then a snap barrel swivel on the end. I'll show you guys what you need to make these. These work really great in the streams with a lot of snags. Um, they don't get snagged up as much as like a bell sinker or split shots do. So I'll show you what we need to put these things together. All right, here's our components to what we're going to need. Um, we're going to need a lighter, a pen, a pretty good sized needle some pliers, some snap barrel swivels, BBs, some scissors, and I got it over here. And just some spare ends of paracord. So we'll get on this and uh, we'll build one. Um, now this one right here is uh, quarter ounce and you can see in my hand it's pretty big um, half ounce probably best to go with a bell sinker but as far as quarter ounce on down this is an eighth ounce, eighth ounce one um, they work great so let's put one together. So I measured my BBs out, zeroed out my little pill bottle here, and measured my BBs out for a quarter ounce. So we'll get some paracord started here and I'll show you the whole process. So uh, we're going to take our our spare piece of paracord here and just rough guess I always cut it a little bit longer just so I know I have enough and we're gonna pull out the inner strands of it throw them aside and then take our lighter Melt it in nice and neat and crimp that down. Should stay nice and nice and neat. And what I noticed is some I think some paracord is softer than others, um, maybe a little bit bigger diameter. Um, this purple one that I had. It is really stiff, really hard to get the uh, BBs in there. But then also what I like to do is uh, I'll take my lighter and I'll just sear the end like that and then stick a pen in there real quick like that. And that just gives me a little bit bigger opening. Start feeding the BBs down. Put them in there. And you just slide them down, work them down. Sometimes you you can use a nail if you got some stiffer paracord. But, um, just keep feeding them down until we get to the top here. You know, and these are great to make, they're fun to make, and you know, a lot of people that fish or hunt or backpack have paracord, and you know, they have spare ends, um, BB guns for shooting vermin around the yard, and you know, this is just something that you can 
use that extra paracord for. So, as you can see, it's coming along pretty good, but I won't bore you with the whole thing. When I get it, all the BBs in here, um, I'll turn the camera back on and, and show you how to do the rest of it. So once you get close to the end here, you want to save this last one in here. You want to save a little bit of room. Sucker up really good. Okay, if you catch it on fire, all right. And then clamp, clamp her down. Nice neat end there. Then what you want to do? And this is when you want to be careful. You don't put this through your finger or anything like that, but heat up your needle. Get that sucker hot. And we just slide you a hole right through there. And it will melt you. It'll melt your table too. It'll melt you a nice hole through there. And you take your swivel pop your snap swivel through there and uh, snap it in place have it. So, now I measured out, I don't know, my scales might be off or whatever, but I measure out a um, quarter ounce of BBs, so I'll, we'll put this on the scale to see what this scale has to say. Right. Turn this thing on. We got grams there. Ounces. So stick that sucker on there. And it's a quarter ounce. So worked out pretty good. Usually you get get the first one right, and then you you use it as a template. But uh, let's get some fish line out, and I'll show you how I rig it up onto my pole. All right, I made me up a leader here. Took me a double-ended swivel. You can see that double-ended swivel. Tied it on to it probably isn't even in camera, but you know anywhere from 12 to 15 inches, depending on how long you want your leader, and then tied your hook onto here. And that right there is your leader. So you go and you take the line. This is the line coming from your fishing pole. And you take your take your uh, slinky weight, run that in your line to your fishing pole. Then Tie it on to the other side. You gotta excuse my tying skills here. I'm just gonna do a simple, really quick one just for demonstration here. Or maybe not. I wouldn't 
fish with that knife, but just to show you guys. So that runs down and catches on on there. When it sits, it drifts. And then you get your line when your when your fish bites. But this right here will slide down and, and catch. Now some people may put beads here and basically that's just to protect that knot there from this metal hitting it all the time. Personally, I don't. So, let's see if I can get a, a better view of this here. Show you guys. Tied a smaller leader, but there's your swivel. It goes down to your hook, and then your line coming up here to your pole, which just just rides up and down on this line right there. Sorry about trying to film to see how this goes. But, uh, basically that's all it is. So for those of you don't, that don't have a scale and don't measure um, out the BBs, um, I just got a cheap standard uh, brand of BBs. I'm sure they weigh pretty much all the same unless you get some type of... Um, off metal or something like that um, but I found that if you measure your paracord for the for the quarter ounce if you measure your paracord about four inches that'll give you enough and then to get a quarter ounce it's around 18 to 20 BBs and then for the eighth ounce about 10 to 12 BBs and measure about two inches of paracord and that just leaves you enough room to um, um, get them in there and have enough room to seal the end and you're going to be really close to a quarter quarter ounce with this one and an eighth ounce with this one um, I did end up picking me up some uh, new hooks give me some must add hooks Decided against some um, some other Japanese name ones. Uh, I got these at Lunkers, um, and these are fifty cents cheaper than um, the other ones. This is a, also a ten count, but these are size six. And then for the barrel swivels, I just use I think these are eagle claws, and you can pick these up for it. These were 99 cents, but these were at Lunkers and Walmarts. So I'm sure you can get them cheaper at Walmarts. And um, these Eagle Claws work just as good as anything. So, oh, well, guys, that's it for my slinky weights. Everybody be safe out there. And uh, as spring's coming, we need to get out there and get to fishing.